Welcome to Dela TV. It's your guy Dre. Today I want to talk about LGBTQ plus minus what have you. Now, recently, Ghana Parliament, you know, I think, unless I'm mistaken, but about 275 members of the par of, 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 of Parliament voted for the entire parliamentarians, both parties, you know, both sides. Uh, my minority and the majority voted for the anti-gay um, the anti-gay uh, what do they call it anti-gay LGBTQ bill so anti-gay bill right that bill of course Amnesty Inter International came out and made some statements about the rights of those living in the country now as you know and I know we haven't had a situation where this LGBTQ or name them whatever, you know, experience any, let me say, any challenges of being forced against their will. They've been free. They do their thing, but it's more or less as though we don't even care. Like they don't exist in, in our space. They are the minority, but somehow, some powers that be are trying to promote them as though they are the majority in the country. Parliament have spoken, but it doesn't end there. We have the president to sign his bill, and then it will come into law. I'm not too sure if that has been done yet, but till then, Pay attention. Pay attention, brothers. Have you noticed that all of a sudden there's these stories slowly creeping into the system? Bloggers are starting to blog on it. The social media platforms have started posting videos to suggest that there is some level of abuse going on and that LGBTQ people, gay people, transsexuals, transgender, and the rest are being beaten or, or let's say, bullied or abused one way or the other. You and I know that it is not true. The question is, who is financing them? Who is actually sitting somewhere? Who is that person sitting there trying to push this agenda in the country? simply because there's a law that has been passed and so therefore they have to figure out a way to make it seem that ghana is against these people well you can say that we don't want them in the society but ghanaians do not go around beating these people there's a video that i saw my question is who took the video and why that very moment this is the second time a video has cropped out about this LGBTQ in Ghana. That they are being beaten, that they are being abused, that they are being treated somehow. Well, it is not what you and I accept to be right or wrong. But what the society feels is right or wrong if the society do not like it i don't see why we should be subjected to this thing unfortunately this social media thing travels so fast it travels very very fast it goes far and i, I actually came across the video on on, on uh, whatsapp it's a group. The group dropped it in and I said, since when did Ghanaians start beating these people? And that's the question. That's where I keep, I stand. And I am still there. When did Ghanaians start beating LGBTQ? If you remember clearly, about some time back, when LGBTQ story came up, apparently they had a built a house in somewhere, some part of Ghana, Accra, I mean to say, some part of Accra. And I'm not sure if it's Kwabenya or Ashalibuche, that area. But they had a 
building there nobody was in there somehow that building cropped up they said it was for lgbtq people the that's their headquarters and all that who was financing them who is behind them is it amnesty international or is it somebody else look these politicians are crazy they can do anything and especially the west we need to be careful we need to watch out we need to stand up for ourselves if we don't like something i don't see why we should accept it or force it on anyone else if they don't like anything i don't see why they should force it on us likewise if they like something and we don't like it why should they bring it to us why should it be forced on us if it is happening in the society and we are quiet about it it doesn't mean that we like it but let it be there you know let them do their thing but actually making it popular may lead to other challenges going forward why i keep asking why who is this person who is this organization who is this institution that is trying to promote this lgbtq in a sovereign country in a country that is saying we don't want it about 75 percent of parliamentarians have voted and said they did not want it they don't want lgbtq in the country why should it be forced on us now we're starting to hear all these weird stories about lgbtq guy beating another lgbtq uh, being 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 abused out there how how did this become a thing all of a sudden how come we did not get this when the bill hasn't been passed even all the way through to it was being passed and then right after it's, been, it's passed you start hearing these kind of stories my brother my sister don't listen to anybody don't follow them they are just trying to make them popular and to so they can push this thing on us if we don't want it we don't want it i mean i hate to say this but i will say it look if my forefathers married three four women and you came and said look it is not good it's polygamous just go for one wife and you went for what that one wife that's okay but now you're telling me i should leave that multiple wives and go for a month i don't know how that makes sense and somehow you find people trying to justify saying that oh is somebody's life is their, is their life and all that the challenge is not how is there it's not the life that they live the challenge is how this will creep to your children and your children's children that is where the problem is and until you notice that bit you will continue to talk like you do do not let money lead you use your conscience use your conscience do not let money lead you and massacre in your kind ma weni nda ho ma weni weni si ma ne en na ho pacho o bet me a subscribe to your channel no for more of these videos look lgbtq thing i didn't want to do a video on it it's just that it's starting to creeping creeping and and if we don't if i don't say anything about it i may probably later say to myself you know blame myself for not saying anything i think somebody is financing it let's look for that person and put a stop to him and his his diabolic Thank you.